Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Papers Please. The last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and started up the game, went through the first four days and yeah we're just trying to survive wh while we're not getting too much money from our job. Anyways in this episode we're going to go ahead and continue on to day five and maybe a bit onwards. So right now our family is sick and hungry, or at least our son is sick and everyone else is hungry so I'll keep food get rid of heat. And this is kind of just what we're going to be doing is that when they're hungry, we give them food. When they're when they're cold, we give them heat. We're going to sleep and move on to day 5. Republian tracks Star wanted for murder. So we're going to get to do something fun in this episode. Vince Lestrade's whereabouts unknown has likely fled Republia. Vince Lestrade profile, girlfriend killed in jealous rage. So this guy is a wanted criminal. And here, on November 27th, 1982, we have to stop this guy, basically. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it in a little bit. Inspector, you are now authorized to detain suspicious indiv indiv individuals. Interrogate discrepancies to enable, det to enable detention option. Glory to our Stotska. I don't know why I can't read today. So yeah, now we're going to keep the news open because it has his name in it. So we're just gonna put this off to the side. It's not too important for most of this. We're gonna get our, out our rule book and of course our audio transcript as well. And now we're gonna open up to our first person. This person, he has two documents with two completely different numbers, which means that one of them is forged. There's a discrepancy here. What are you talking about? Hey, wait. Do not arrest me, please. Just deny my passport and I will go away. One moment, please. What are you doing? They say out and they take him away. So yeah, that's basically detaining. Basically want to do that for all criminals because, you know, they're criminals. Visit friends, two weeks. Visit two weeks, that's in date. Same numbers. Matching data. Boston, Republia, your mail. Uh, if the name is the same, I'll let you through. Yep. Go ahead and head on in. This guy. This is Vince Lestrade. You're a Vince Lestrade? Damn. Look, I did not kill her. I was set up. Do not believe the Republican lies. Let me through. One moment, please. And he gets taken away. Whether he was innocent or guilty, I'll leave that up to you viewers at home. Transit two days? Two days, okay. Everything's in date, Boston Republia, female. Names and numbers. You should be good. Okay, this person. Not my choice. I hate this dang country. I am passing through. Duration of stay. Little as possible. Two days. Ugh. So that's a bit of irony where the ones that want to be let in the most, we usually can't let through. And then the one that doesn't want to be in this country, we let in. <laughs> Visit three months. Matching data. Matching data, True Glory and Republia, mail, 1984, that's in date. You said visit for three months, right? Yep. Okay, I'll go ahead and let you through. Next. Okay, this guy. Wozenfield District, I believe that's correct. Yeah, but let me just make sure it's spelled correctly. Alrighty, okay. So, 
same weight, same height, matching names, matching date of births, dates or dates of birth, not date of births, but I'll let you through. During these early parts of the game, whenever I'm play, replaying through this, I always feel like I'm missing something but because it feels like things are going too quickly. First of all, today is a beautiful day, my friend. We finally become free from Integrian tyranny. So this guy, he is always able to be let in. His papers are always correct. However, thank you so much. Please be kind to my wife. She's just after me. Did you see my husband? He made it through, yes? And if we go to basic rules... Where's your entry permit? Please, I beg you. They would not give it, give me permit. I have no choice. I would be killed if I returned to Integria. So now... You have an another moral dilemma. Do you approve and let her live? Or do you deny and you know, properly do your job and do what you're supposed to do. I'm always really sappy, so I'll let you through. Thank you. We will not forget. So we get another citation, but we also get another token, so that's nice. Side note, you can only get those tokens if you inspect the discrepancy first. They give you your sob, their sob, their sob story, and then you go ahead and let them in. If you just let them in at first, then you'll just get the citation and nothing else. So be careful of that. Matching data. Then we have numbers. You said work for six months, work for half a year. Awesome. Let's rest in Kletchia, female. That's all nice. And then you should be able to be let in, hopefully. Cause no trouble. Okay. Awesome. Come for visit. Two months. Couple months. Awesome. Names are the same. Numbers are the same. St. Marmaro and Integria, I believe, is correct. And then that is not in date. So we're going to go ahead and have to point that out. Document is expired. Cannot come until now. Next. You don't even have a passport. Gonna work for a full year. Whenever they don't have their passport, you get this slip specifically made so that you can deny them. So just in case you were wondering what happens if they don't have a passport, that's what. Visit. A month? One month, okay. I should probably be doing stuff in the background while I'm hearing her out, but my brain is very bad when it comes to multitasking, and so I'm just not very good when it comes to that. Which makes you wonder why I'm a Let's Player in the first place, because it kind of requires you to be good at multitasking. But that's the end of the day. Booth upgrade available, space key to toggle inspect mode. I'm immediately going to get this and then take away their, their food. So this, like it says, allows us to press space in order to toggle inspect mode. So now, jobs few becoming fewer. Immigrants taking jobs from locals. Vince Lestrade apprehended in Greston. That's what we did. Track champ looks quite guilty now. November 28th, 1982. Inspector, the Ministry of Labor has instituted a special program to control immigrant labor. Travelers entering for work require a valid work pass. So yeah, that's another thing that they've added and we now have to worry about. The work pass basically just says, hey, I work here and gives some personal information, so you'll need that. This, per this first person, I believe, is always approvable. This is what a work pass looks like. By the way, if you use the little 
announcement thing. He just says some lines about Arstotska welcoming you. I have a job here. I believe you're a pink vice person. Yep. So yeah, she gives us that. We approve her like always. Please help me. So now, a man named Derry Ludum promised me and my sister good work in Arstotska. I do not trust him. I am afraid he will take my passport and force me to work at brothel. He's in line today. Please do something. So we're just going to keep that in mind for now. That is not your face. This does not look like you. The years have been cruel. If anything, you look a bit better. Matching fingerprints. It. I guess that looks similar. Let me go ahead and... Okay, yeah, definitely. Some of the fingerprints look sort of similar, but others are definitely not. You get out. You're able to welcome the next person in the second the current person leaves your screen. Come to work. It will be one year. So this person, Carson Thorne. They're not really in person. They're not really important. It's just that their name sounds kind of cool. Work for a year. Okay. Matching dates. Carista City. That's good. And then, that should be the right name, right date. Okay. You're all good, I think. I should probably start using the space button instead of actually clicking the thing in the bottom right. What did I do? Valid work end date. Oh, hey, it's you. Old friend, hello, I am back again. This time, everything is set. You need a an entry permit. Oh man, you funny guy. An entry permit is required. Oh, you run a very strict border here. That is good. Do job right. I look for entry thing and come back. You. Purpose of trip. Visit. Three months. 90 days. Okay, that sounds good. This is not in date, however. Typographical error. And go get it fixed. This man. Hello, friend. You come down, I give you good girl. Dairy Ludum. Maybe it'd be Dari Ludum. However you pronounce it, this guy is a criminal. You are Dairy Ludum? Of course, it says on passport. One moment. What is this? Give my papers back. We're gonna immediately get him out of there. Purpose of trip, work, 30 days. Where's passport? What is passport? The thing you need to enter. This guy is always approvable. Come for a visit. Duration of stay? Stay two months. Visiting relatives. A few weeks. The day was cut short by a terrorist attack. Your son is sick and needs medicine. So yeah, that's going to happen kind of a lot, unfortunately. And every time it does, security gets tighter and tighter. On a happier note, human trafficking ring shut down. Greston Checkpoint Officer Neb's mastermind. And another attack at Greston Checkpoint. That's not as happy. November 29th, 1982. To facilitate more thorough inspections, a search scanner system has been installed in your booth. 
Kalechian extremists are suspected in yesterday's bombing. Search all Kalechians before approving their entry. Glory to Arstotska. Anything else? Okay. So this will bring in scanning, which not only allows us to check if people are terrorists, but it also allows us to confirm people's gender, which we'll get to in a little bit. Visiting friends. Two weeks. So this person is from Kalechia. So we're going to go ahead and open up our basic rules. And make sure that this collection is searched. I believe this person will be okay, but this is just for a tutorial. Yep, so we're just going to approve this person. Not all people who are, you know, confirmed not to be terrorists are have the proper documents, but I believe this person is okay, so I'm just going to let them in. Purpose of your trip, transit. Two days. Discrepancy detected. You've been selected for a random search. So once this happens, you check their backside, and it looks like they have a weapon on them. Made a mistake coming here. You can see that? Yes. You, you just got scanned. Next. I probably should have opened that. Purpose of your trip. That's not you. Appearance has changed. I had surgery. Okay, that's matching data. Okay, Outer Grouse, Antegria. You're here to immigrate forever? Yep. That's in date. That's in date. Numbers are the same. Names are the same. Should be good. Cause no trouble. This person, this is what I was talking about earlier when I said that scanning would allow us to see what gender they are. And so this person is a male. I'm going to go ahead and I believe they're approvable. So I'm just going to give them that stuff. Okay. Height is something that always gets me whenever I'm going through this stuff because typically with other stuff on this where it's like with weight you can just look down here in the corner and see oh 84 kilograms but with other stuff or with other stuff what am i talking about with with height you like sometimes i look at there but and you, i can get like a generalization of how tall they are what was it the invalid issuing city i sh why did i not check that i thought that i did work for a year. All collections must be searched. You won't need to do this every day. I think eventually this does get like so that we don't have to check this and it, you know you have to check their weight instead and see if that's changed. But for now we're just going to do that. Made a mistake coming here. Is it so obvious? Sorry if I don't have too much to say during this stuff, it's just me checking stuff over and over. This guy, Shoddy Safadi. I believe this guy. 
whenever you check him. Yep, he has some contraband on him, so we're going to go ahead and get him out of there. Zero tolerance for contraband. You can see that? Slow down, my friend. I have only harmless, harmless medicine. I give you ten credits to let me through. Nah, we can't be bribed. You cannot bribe an officer of our Stotska. They must pay well for such obedience, dog. So yeah, no matter how many insults they hurl at us, we're just going to take it and keep going, because it's better than... You know, letting in a terrorist, or not a terrorist, letting in a criminal. Immigrate forever, okay. Uh, that is not in date. You're going to go ahead and have to leave. What are you talking about? We're just going to deny, and he's going to leave. Interesting thing to note is that usually when it comes to entrance, visiting for 14 days, got it. Usually when it comes to entrance, there aren't any interesting ones past the ninth one. So this one right here, or not interesting ones I mean, but like scripted ones. This person wasn't scripted, I don't know what I was thinking. But once you get past entrant number 9, so this is entrant number 10, all of them are randomized, so be sure to check them thoroughly. Transit for a couple weeks. Transit for a couple weeks. That's in date, mail. Uh, that should be good. That said Enkyo Impo, right? Yeah. Okay. Immigrating. Nice. Okay, so now I can take a bit of time on you, considering that, oh, you're not in date. But yeah, that's our last day that we're going to be doing for this episode. End of day seven. So we're two episodes in and we're already at the end of the first week. So they're all cold, so I'll give them heat, but not food. We're going to need a good bit of money for something a little bit later. Uh, it's not required, but it is nice to have. But that's about it for this episode. I'm sorry that commentary isn't... I've said this before, but I'm sorry commentary isn't good, good, that great in this series because I'm trying to focus on the game, and it's a game that really requ requires most of your attention. So it's kind of hard to make videos on, but it's also a game that I really like, so... I really wanted to make videos on it. Anyways, in the next episode, I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on to the second week and see anything else that happens, any new rules. This is pretty much what I said in the previous episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.